guess we'll do this. So Kip told me earlier that uh, some people consider this the hardest screen in the game. So uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. I am totally not warmed up at all, so this is probably going to go poorly for me. Same physics as most other fan games. Oh, I just noticed I'm at over 19,000 deaths. Save that if I had reacted quicker. So I'm pretty sure I told you were not supposed to stand on the far right.
that's newbie. Newbie, I hope you're prepared to watch some really fascinating gameplay. Probably the best use for a needle stream, to be honest. You can listen to my uh, keyboard ASMR as Waffle calls it. Test jumps things just kind of some weird habit to develop. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. A 
Sammy. You're about to see a stream that's probably entirely consists of this screen. Yeah, Kev was telling me that uh, this screen in general is considered to be the hardest in the game by a lot of people. Like a lot of people relative to however many people have been from the needle anyway. Close. Not quite. I shouldn't have stuttered. A frame off. Gotta do it again, man. It's been faster, calm, but there's kind of a difficulty spike in the 70s, so I'm going a bit slower. Kev it tells me it kind of the difficulty plateaus around here, for better or worse. So. Ah, that, that was bad. That was an easy jump, I should have messed that up. from my first jump. I've seen some people say it like actually gets easier in the 90s. It's always good. Ah. 
It jumps harder than it looks. So like it has the problem that a lot of hundred floor games do is that like the entire first half of the game is basically trivial and there's no reason to play it. But I did. to the left spike there. Recently I played uh, Stonks to Sim the 69, that's like a 70 floor game, but it worked because he didn't bother making a difficulty curve, so it was just statically away, which worked out in his favor, I think. Maintains a good challenge for pretty much the entire game, so it's fun. Ah, <laughs> of course. 
course. Two frames right instead of this one. Not sure if you can make that. close enough on the region. Ah, it's that again. I, sh I should really slow down there. Make sure I'm all the way at the left edge. So just trying to yell it like a half moon. Playing Needle Fest is impossible unless you're stonk playing M stage in K3.
Oh, fuck me. I, I didn't think I made it. I... <sighs> That's bad. a dirty meme or slicks. Oh yeah, you can't actually jump back from there, it's true. Like, I don't know how much I can make this inter entertaining for you. Like, I had Brian and Wafu with me the other night. They fucked off to wherever they fuck off to. Now 
was one frame too late. <laughs> I'm already taken by Wafu though. There we go. That wasn't too bad. But <laughs> now I get to deal with the second save on the screen, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I'm not so sure it's screen per se. Okay, second so save is easier. <laughs> yeah, so easy I can do it. That's how you know it's easy. I'm just gonna hold right and hope I get through that diagonal gap. Right, okay, yeah, because right here is actually not possible to pass through. Haha, <laughs> Cam, it's very funny. Like over here, there's a spike that you can't pass through either, which is also very funny. Yeah, sometimes. Stuff can be harder or easier than it looks, so we'll figure out which one this is.
Brazash? I, I don't think I've heard that name now, so I just, unless it's somebody using a different nick. could be uh, someone I know I just not I don't recognize their name or they follow me on Twitter and don't interact with me I offered to buy Castell Celeste but he didn't accept I'm, I'm sad I should just try to not bonk on the apples. It's, it's too hard. Uh, I'm just gonna try the yellow strip for the apples. The whole German thing is Brian's meme dragging me into the. Probably start from the further left block there. To be fair, uh, Lost, I think pretty much everyone would love Celeste. is a lovely shade of pink in my chat, which I feel is very suiting for him. Celeste is like really like well tailored to teach people what they're doing and it's, it's very approachable or accessible I guess in that manner. Of course it even has the uh, assist mode so. Yeah, I should stop bonking. Strawberries are blue. I'm not. I'm not sure what what this fruit is. It's, it's like diseased apples or something that have turned blue. Hi, Mogi. Oh, hello, Brian. I'm glad you could join us. <clears throat> I just got done. Playing video games. What video games are you back. playing? Uh, we played some Dragon Ball Fighters, and then I played some Monster Hunter. Uh, so the usual, basically. I suppose. We actually, so we we play 
uh, fighting games every Friday. Right. And uh, we've been trying to get Dragon Ball Fighters working since release, but we've been unable to. Every time we try to join each other's rooms, it would say, like, no rooms found. And that's, right. like, a pretty common thing a lot of people are running into. Huh. Um, and so we'd, we'd try that for a while, and when it failed, we'd, like, go to Dissidia or something. Um, but as of this one, one of the, one of the people, a part of that is like, oh, yeah, I was talking with some friends, and apparently uh, that can be fixed if you change your name in-game. So, like, what was causing it? Just, like... Changing Nobody your knows. Theory it fixes it. The the hypothesis from us is that like your your profile is in a bad state and changing your name causes it to refresh the profile. Right. Um, but that doesn't really seem to add up necessarily because like I'm like I'm Woody Brian in that game, right. so I changed it to Woody Brian with a two after it, and then I was able to join my friend's rooms. But then like he switched his name to have a 2 after it and that didn't work so he switched it with a 3 after it and then that did work so it's extremely strange it's really strange it there's something very wrong going on there but uh then we played that game also i enjoyed when you called that part the apple jump why cuz like i feel like that's a little like, that's kind of similar to calling something a spike jump in fan games. Like, man, that spike jump is really killing me. Well, but see. I understand it is the only apple yeah, jump. The only but, like, apple jump. It's such a common thing. Mm -hmm. Samuel, uh, if you've ever, if you take a look at Dragon Ball Fighters, like, a ton of people are having this problem. So it's not just me. Yeah. It's a very strange thing. How is the game itself, Dragon Ball Fighters? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. It's not a it's not a stellar review, I guess, but like uh it's So I, I really hate Dragon Ball. Yeah, you um, mentioned that for whatever reason. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh so I, I have no real attachment to any of the characters, and in fact I find most of them very ugly. <laughs> and that's like a big part of fighting games for me, is right. like choosing a character that's like aspirational and like cool or cute or something that you enjoy uh, like controlling. Right. Um, so there's like no one, there's no one like that in that game. And I have to choose three of them. <laughs> Which is even oh, worse. Right. It's, a, it's a team fighter. Yeah, and I, I don't really like tag fighters. Um, so it's, I don't know. Like, I could get into super minute details, but I don't think you really play fighting games. I, I so it, it would, so they'd be yeah. lost on me. Yeah, it's fine. But I did, I did, because the, the two friends I play with, both of them have a lot more like Dragon Ball experience on like watched some or all of the anime and right. that was like part of the childhood and also Moogie Net. Oh really? You got um, Moogie Net? Just, just a little bit. I've been streaming um, at 50 FPS which kind of makes it drop frames. Mm -hmm. so. And like uh, so I got to hear a lot about Dragon Ball lore and some of it is very entertaining. Yeah, I, I watched the, the series on TV growing up as a kid. I haven't really followed it or anything since then. Mm -hmm. I remember they we had to wait ages for new episodes to get dubbed back then. Those are the days. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? So I'm actually finding it... Uh, more consistent to do this apple jump with uh, two full frame jumps. So, bonk strats. Yeah, yeah, it's it's interesting in slice because like there's a lot about fighting games you don't need to know in order to play Dragon Ball Fighters. Like they, 
they've, for better or worse, done a really effective job of reducing the mental complexity. While at the same time, like the, the game itself has has some huge problems where it's like, it's really hard to do things in the game. And I don't mean like actually fighting people, I mean like, how do I get to training mode is like hard to do. So like, it's got Zephyr menus. Well, but it's not menus, it's all this like, this world you walk around in and you have oh. to find the different things. <laughs> which is like, what? I remember, I think Angry Video Game Nerd or somebody did like, a review of a Jaguar fighting thing, game that was like that. Like, it was obviously just a really bad idea. But I'm glad DBZ Fighters did that. Well, it's like, so normally the way these games work is that if you want to play with friends, you create something like a private lobby. Right. In some form or another. And then you invite them to that private lobby. And you... Like, it's menu-driven, basically. But the way it works... In Dragon Ball Fighters, you have to join one of the public lobbies and then start what's called a ring match. And then you can like password protect it so only some people can join it, but like your friends have to go out there and find you. <laughs> like in they order have to, to search find... the world and find you? I mean it's not like super complicated, but like you have to choose the right public lobby to enter and then find them. It's like Oh that sounds it's so that sounds kinda of like PSO. Maybe. Uh, Fantasy Star is dead to me after they rejected the good series and went online. I actually played a lot of PSO on GameCube back when I was new. A lot of people did. Like, I wouldn't mind that that game existed, but it shouldn't be called Fantasy Star. They just they just co-opted that well, name. I mean, it's not like they it. were making actual Fantasy Star games at that point. I guess not, but like, they could have. Give have. me a Fantasy Star 5, please. I'd buy it. PS4 is one of the best games, like, straight up. It's one of the few uh, Genesis games worth playing. Yeah, I mean, there's, like, not a long list of Genesis RPGs, and it's, like, Fantasy Star 4 and Shining Force 2, and that's about it. I also played a RPG called Sword of Vermilion on the Genesis. Game is budget I've, as heck. I think I've heard of that. I, I think I've one, heard one of those random, like, when you're a kid, you get a bunch of weird games that you're not, like... Like, you're, you don't, like, look up reviews or anything. You just get this... You accrue this collection of, like, random shit. Right. Sort of mean was one of those. Whatever your parents decide to buy you. Right, right. It's like, hey, I I found this at a used game store, and it has a sword on the, on the cover, and you <laughs> like swords, right? Stuff like that. Yeah, I have um, some old SNES, SNES carts with uh, Blockbuster stickers still on them. <laughs> Back when Blockbuster was a thing, so I'm aging myself there. That's not that old. It's not that old, but it's older than a lot of people on the internet. It's, yeah, at this point. The screen doesn't look that hard. It's considered the hardest screen in the game, according to Kefit, so... Yeah, but... Kefit's not counting the Vine screen. He's not, that's true. It's weird, because, like... I don't actually consider myself that... And maybe this is just, like... Dunning-Kruger in effect, but right. I don't consider myself that far behind when it comes to, like, needle platforming from, like... You or Wafu. Right. But there are just certain things that, like, my soul rejects wholeheartedly <laughs> and I can't get over it. And one of those is vines. One of those is vines. It's, uh. It's sad. Every once in a while, I open up Crimson Needle and try that screen some more. And after about five minutes, I'm like sweating profusely and bleeding from my eyes, and I just like, well, I guess I gotta stop this again. Gee, 
Just jump, jump. Uh, that's the that's the solution to every fan game, really. Sometimes you do have to shoot. It's pretty rare. Sometimes you sometimes you get to jump, jump, jump. And in Ocean Princess, there's a part where you jump, 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 jump. That's true. And you can like skip half of those screens. I know. I lo that's like one of my favorite things about Ocean Princess that a lot of the skips are. They, they look designed in. I guess I can't say for sure. But some of them look very intentional. So it has like a bunch of updates. I assume he would have caught them at some point if he didn't have to actually wanted to. Well, there, there's, there's the path of like, I didn't intend for these, but I'm not going to remove them now. Yeah, that's true. Either way is fine, really. I want to stream more Celeste. What do you have left to do in Celeste? Just the goldies? Just just goldies, just goldies. And then maybe doing runs. Oh okay. god. Maybe. Like, would you just do any percent? Probably. At least initially, because that's like the most accessible one to do. It's the shortest. Other than true, pure any percent. Which oh. I technically have the world record in. Is that just going back to her car? Yeah, going back to the car and using cheat mode to unlock everything. How fast can you do that? <laughs> I have the I have the the best time, but I didn't submit it because I don't care. <laughs> and also, I I did things that are a little sketchy. I guess it's I I bound the same button multiple times, <laughs> which I guess is a no no. So I guess that delegitimizes me, but. They all, there was also concern that I bound up multiple times, but I think that's bullshit because normal gamepads have two ups that you could utilize. But I think you should be allowed at least two of each direction. It doesn't seem like it These really the, helped that much with Celeste. Well, it does for true pure any percent where your goal is to walk left for a second <laughs> and then do a super fast bun combination that involves two ups in a row. What is the button combination anyway? Is it the Konami code? No, it's... Gee, I don't know. It's like, uh... It's, it's kind of random. It's not a famous one. Oh. But apparently it's the same one that was used in Towerfall. Yeah, I never played Towerfall because it's, like, it's local co-op only. Yeah, yeah. Same. Just not super interested in that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, there's a strawberry. For no dash stage one. It's fun. There's also trying to do uh, no jump stages. Which is basically the A button challenge. Oh yeah. Which is which is interesting. You basically you try to find the minimum number of jumps for a stage. How did you mess that up? You just go against the wall. Oh, you do just go against the wall, okay. Jesus Christ, Moogie. I don't look at what I'm doing, okay, Brian? <laughs> I, I just, it's like right there, just for you. Like, please use this. <laughs> It'll just, give you the perfect line for the next jump, too. Was, Is there like a secret down in that little hallway right at the start? What? Oh, you can't. Uh, let's, let's you can check make it that. Out. You can make that. Let's check you it out. You can totally make that. I'm pretty sure there's not a secret or anything, but we can be the people to find out. No. Oh, wait. There, he forgot to place uh, collision blocks here. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Okay. That was. Oh, lol. That was a fun dist distraction. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Oh, wait. If there's no collision box there. Could uh, you... There's one uh, to the right of it, so you can't... Uh, yeah, but you could still make it up there from that place where you do the edge jump oh, in guess, the first save. I guess you could. I don't, I don't think you could actually make it back up, though. Yeah, I, I don't know. That seems silly to try. Uh, Slakes, I just killed uh, Pink Rathy. Which, uh, while, while that mission was amazing and is the best mission in the game so far. The fact that there was all that build up for a pallet swap was very disappointing. 
They're still doing pellet swaps in 2018. Oh yeah. It's like a really lame pallet swap too. Like it seems like like at that level of graphical fidelity you have in that game, a pellet swap would be like really noticeable. Well, it's like as as far as I'm led to believe, like the two the two dragons, Rathalos and Rathian, right. are like they're like the the poster children of Monster Hunter, and they've always had pallet swaps, uh, and so they will continue to have pallet swaps forever because everyone wants like eight versions of them. I guess that makes sense. Um, more like normal Rathian, but with just higher numbers, basically. That's that's like all it is. Ballot battling is, is adorable. Um, <laughs> battling is a bit more of a than just a play, so she has like different faces. She like comes, she comes out pink, of the text window. <laughs> uh, pink Rathian does have a, an additional move. No, no, pink Rathian does have an additional move. Like I. I don't, I don't consider this sufficient at all for a new version, but basically she has her normal move where she like flips vertically in the air, but she has a different one where she flips vertically in the air, but it's slightly askew. And which I, which I call the reckless flip because it looks a lot more reckless, but it's, it's largely the same. How do you quantify recklessness? Uh... Monsters have pretty... It's weird. Monsters have fairly, like, noticeable emotions oh, yeah? in Monster Hunter. They do a good job of, like, making a monster seem angry compared to normal. And, like, when something is reckless, it kind of... Like, they, they do a very good job of, like, making the animation sell that. No, but I fought... I fought Rathian in high rank, I think. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. Point is, like, the 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 end of at the end of the day, it's like if I got hit with poison from a poison tag in a normal Rathian, I would die. So the fact that Pink Rathian does more poison doesn't change anything. It gives me less time to be betrayed by Cow Cat. Is really all that matters. Oh yeah, Cow Cat is your uh, pet, isn't it? Yes. But yeah, in order to find Pink Rathian, they had you like going through like all the different levels, finding tiny bits of evidence throughout like seven different missions, and it's like, what is this crazy monster? It's like, it's Pallet Swap, monster you've already fought. Oh my god! <laughs> So I assume you got past that mission you were complaining about the other night. Hmm? Uh, the other mission you were complaining about the last time you were commentating on the stream. Uh, I don't remember. Oh. If I mean, I was probably complaining about Diablos. Yeah, Diablos, Diablos. Was the worst. That's what it was. It's fucking, fucking terrible. Oh, that was the worst mission I've played. So the big difference: worst versus best. Because, like, Pink Rathian's boring, but what made that mission so great is that, for whatever reason, it had, like, by far the most big monster interactions, which were, like, the best part of Monster Hunter. So, like, you know, Pink Pink Rathian would escape somewhere and Legiana would show up, and so those two would duke it out while I'm fighting Pink Rathian. And, like, and this has never happened before, where, like, usually when monsters join up, they, like, separate after like 30 seconds or whatever they'll like have throw some attacks at each other but then they'll run away but in this one they'd fight for a long time and then when pink rathian relocated legiana would follow her and continue fighting her which was great and then like titiyaku would show up and flash everybody and then the last time i did it odogaron also came and fought pink rathian at like the same time and it was super 
crazy chaotic. And that's like my favorite part. I want every mission to be like that. Why haven't you beaten the safe yet, Mogi? Because I'm bad. I mean, what, what other answer were you expecting? <laughs> Are you referring to Odegaron uh, returning to his people, Slikes? Because I've seen that gif. I don't know if you experienced that personally. Oh man, you died to a ceiling spike. That's like, you're me. Yeah. I died to a lot of spikes. Yeah, I mean like, dying to ceiling spikes in general isn't like me, but that, that particular type of ceiling spike, the like, there's no reason to ever touch this, but like, you right. touched it anyway. Boss, please the ceiling don't. spike, that's... Please don't ask me that, boss, or I'm gonna... That last jump is easy. That's only because it was nerfed in this version. It used to be a full mini spike. Yeah. That would also be easy. Oh no, if you the a full mini spike means you have to do a two frame jump plus plus a stutter over it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's there's a gif. I don't know if Maybe you linked it originally, but I, I just saw like some flying monster. It might have been Legiana and like, or it might have been Palamu. As they're like going super high into the air to relocate, there's like a bug where Odogarn had already started its like lunch for it and so just went like jumped vertically up like half a mile to connect. It's great. Oh yeah, that is true, the warp is like right next to it, so... Yeah. I'm having a lot of trouble with that drop, too. I am. It's kind of hard. Let me see if I can find it. Is it Palumu? Have I been saying that wrong this whole time? It is Palumu. Fuck me. Yeah, you can actually do a one frame on the mini spike because he moved it further into the ground on the speedrun version. You don't even need to bunny hop. If you can't two frame, you can bunny hop one frame. I feel like that can't possibly be easier. If you're unable to do the lesser strict timing, do the more strict timing. I mean, it's kind of easier to jump cancel than two frame for me. I, yeah, okay, that's fair. Like, I, when people say one frame, I assume they mean one frames and not jump cancels. But I suppose that's wrong. Oh, okay, full mini spikes, yeah, if that was a full mini spike. Especially because when I think of jump cancels, I think of my super small jump cancels. That's how I've always internalized them. Oh, right. Okay, so I, I should probably have looked at what it expects me to do for that jump in J-Tool. You didn't even hit the wall. I didn't. <laughs> I mean, that, that looks very, very uh, obviously like... You do as high of a jump as you can without bonking, where you do simultaneous left and jump inputs, and then do that again. Yeah, I, I'm not sure where it wants me to do the re-jump is the thing. You should be able to practice the uh, the non-bonk jump, though. I'm, I'm just going to make it in J2 when I get there again. Oh, 
find that gift? I did not. Rejump leg, okay. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find it. It's hard to find gifts. I had a surprisingly bad time on An Anjanath as well. Um, but I think... I, I don't know if I just didn't see it, but I never had the issue. Like, Anjanath in high rank, and maybe in low rank, uh, exudes fire from his mouth. Like... He doesn't, he breathes fire, but even when he's not breathing fire, uh, the fire from his mouth will set you aflame. And that, that gave me a bad time. Because I often swan dive near mouths. And it was raining, it was raining and dark. <laughs> For the record, I'm pretty sure you can just... Like, there's no problem with with dropping off that point and then holding left. Oh yeah, I, I guess that's true. That looks completely safe to do. I'll try it next time to get there. I mean, assuming there will be a next time. I might just die in the apples for, for another couple hours. Yeah, that apple jump looks cancerous. It is, it's very cancerous. Is it is it like animation dependent? Yeah, you can actually die after rejumping if the stim hits you. Which has happened to me a few times. Mm hmm I finally hit blue sharpness likes. But then I have a weapon with more attack that doesn't have blue sharpness. It makes me feel bad. I feel like you need a coach for Needle Moogie. A coach? Oh, I, I, I have kept it. Well, someone who's there for you. I'm talking about me. What do you, what do you want to coach me in, Brian? Well, I mean, just the stuff I've already been doing. Like, did you know? With that jump, you can just do that. Or, like, someone to tell you a lines. Yeah, someone to tell me a line to be helpful, because I don't pay attention to them. And yeah, to be fair, I'm probably not doing the app. Well, I'm definitely not doing the apple jump properly. I notice that I'm dying on a jump just solely due to a line, I'll just try some other random line until it works. It's, it's about how much I care about them. I don't know anything about V lines. That shit is gross. Here, the cops come for you again, Ryan. Yeah, it's true. All the best crimes happen at three in the morning. The best crimes. Oh yeah. What's a good crime in your book? Uh, like petty theft. Uh, jaywalking. Jaywalking. Yeah. Well, jaywalking at 3M does seem pretty dangerous. It's like the least dangerous time to do it. <laughs> There's no cars out. I mean, if there were a car, it'd be hard to see it. All I know about V-Lines is that eventually, if you jump hard enough, you'll do a 4.5. <laughs> yeah, Captain knows a lot about V-Lines and all that shit, but... We don't, we don't lines are something that should be excised <laughs> from the game. Yeah, like, if you need to know lines to do a job, it's probably not in a game worth playing. 
Oh, I do love numbers. Orange. Oh, interesting. It's also like a bounce multiplier. Bounce. It affects how much you bounce, I believe. I wish the kid could. That's not V Align's loss, that's V String. There's a difference there. V Align's are much more es esoteric and affect way fewer things. I don't know how much you've Moogie netted so far, so. Sammy Bull saying all the stuff I already said. Yeah. I Fucking know. copycat. These strings are important. Yeah, they shouldn't be, but they are. I don't mind them as much as bunny hops. I'm okay but they're still pretty bad. I'm, I'm sure I'm okay with bunny hops that I can do them. Bunny hops are bad. Okay, so let's open up JTool. I'm gonna die after doing this anyway, but still. Well, you don't need to deal with them most of the time. Unless they fucking tell you to do a 4.5. Oh yeah, there are definitely games that have to do a 4.5. Fucking not another Magic Tower game requires you to do a 4.5 if you want the best route. Fodomia makes you do one too. That's actually where I first forced myself to learn how to do one. But like the one in NAMTG... Is like a free one. It's like right next to a save, and you can't die doing it. So it doesn't it's, bother me that much. It's definitely not free in Fidomia. Yeah, if it's like you have to do like a 4.5 full jump to the right, like that's that's an instant shelf. It's interesting, but like it's one of those examples of like. They spent so much time asking how if they could, they didn't stop to consider whether they should. <laughs> Duh. But the vast majority of things in fan games, the answer is no. Four point fives are are like kind of easy. In the sense that like Okay, I finally made it in J2. How do you get the game to pause when you I, go to J2? I press the P button, which is pause in pretty much all fan games. Oh. I guess that's a thing you could do. I mean, what did you think I did? I don't know, like pressed Alt? Like, cause that works in DT3, you know? Oh. Thought it might have been some crazy trick. I like how your your stream just shows the fucking <laughs> placer toolbar of JTool and nothing else. <laughs> oh yeah, it's... it's like, good it's job, Moogie. It's on top of the stream. I can tell what your X pause and Y pause are. I, I didn't even notice. I, I'm not sure why it's showing up, actually. Uh, the reason it's showing up is because you have a source for JTool and oh, a yeah. source for fan games, and one of them is over the other. So you're technically showing all of JTool, but the other source is covering it. And that source is also above your chat, and chat should be above everything. So you haven't you haven't ordered your sources in OBS properly. <laughs> I have not. You're correct. Jesus Christ. This is why you need a coach. <laughs> yeah. I need an OBS coat. Okay, so this jump isn't as bad as it seems. <laughs> and then you just do the... <laughs> now you can't read anything. <laughs> because for some reason you have your chat be fucking... semi-transparent against a black background. 
So now it's semi-transparent against a non-black background. Okay, so that jump's not entirely cons consistent, but I'll get back to it eventually. I guess this explains why I talk so much about pause buffering. Yeah. I'll have to remove that from any game I make. Some people do, and it gives me cancer, so please don't. Please don't remove it. Well, um, no, because it's, it's terrible. I'm surprised you didn't know about the pause feature. I, I don't think any fan game has ever said that P is for pause. <laughs> Whereas fan games somewhat regularly say, like, you know, shift is for jump, Z is for shoot. I learned that pretty early on. I had no idea you could pause fan games. Other than, like, really high quality ones like K3 or whatever. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a basic feature in Uitsu and uh, Yo Yo. So you can pretty amazing. much pause any game. I know, like, pausing is an amazing feature no one has ever figured out how to make before. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, I. I would remove. I wouldn't remove pausing, I would remove pause buffering because, like. I would never make anything that required pause buffering. That would be that would be so terribly cancerous. Well, I mean, it's it's useful to uh, have the ability to buffer inputs via pause as well. Yeah, I guess I'm I'm specifically referring to like jumps, because like you you don't have to buffer like buffering left to right don't does that doesn't let you do anything you couldn't already do yeah it's mostly the i pause and then hit jump so now i'm holding jump but i don't have to double jump in order to do that which actually changes like the the actions you could conceivably take yeah I, I that's like that's the one that really that. bothers me because like if i if i for whatever reason require you to be able to pause buffer to do that would require vines so like it's not yeah. Not a thing that's ever going to be in a game, I think. Yeah, a uh, Diffurox game that's full of vines, he actually disabled uh, passing jump inputs through pause, which is really obnoxious. And I do not enjoy yeah, that if aspect I, if of I that would, game. If I, if I did make a vine game, I would definitely make it so you couldn't pause buffer jumps. Sorry. I'm not, I, I'm not interested in allowing the, the actions of the game to be changed by pause. It should be, it should be a non-thing. Like, it should be the same without pause. I just like finding skips that you can do with pause buffer. That's weird, because you don't ever find skips for anything else. Yeah, I know. It, it just feels cool when it's, you're, like, doing something you're not supposed to. Like, cheating, but you're not cheating. <laughs> well, it is cheating, actually. And I'm not saying you shouldn't cheat, because you should absolutely do everything you can in fan games to win. See what this no, it's not semi bull. No, it's not. See, I I countered your argument <laughs> with two letters and a period. Yeah, I'm a I'm a bad kid. This is like wait, wait, semi bull. Are those weird gray things that look like mini thwomps? Are those save points? They must be. If, if you have to do it at the start of a save, it's still bad, but I don't care as much. I probably wouldn't shelf the game for that. I mean, what else would they be but saves? I mean, anything. <laughs> the, the only reason they have to be saved is because there's no other saves in that screen, and they are placed somewhat equidistantly throughout the path. But, like... I guess they could and be games have gimmicks. They, I mean, they could be gimmicks of some kind. They could be random doodads that visually interfere with the level, because that <laughs> never happens in fan games. Yeah. You can never quite be sure. I would. I, I generally yeah, from prefer an people just use like default saves, because you know what those look like. Uh. I don't know. I, I I don't I don't mind custom saves, and I would probably use custom saves because oh. I I give a shit about things. But as long as you if you don't give a are. shit about things, 
I mean, like, I don't really care because, like, I, there's no point. There's no value in, like, I'm a person on the internet who saw a random screen from the game and I couldn't tell what the saves were. But if they teach that within uh, the game, that's all that really matters. I died on the last jump. Why? Because I'm bad. Oh. Because you can't two frame? Can you one frame over that? You can. I should have. Oh, jeez. So you just you just tap the button and you go. I should probably try to do a jump cancel when I get there next time. With pause buffering? Yes, with pause buffering, in fact. You're dead to me. Your uh, your Moogie Net fixer comes tomorrow, right? Yes. Or I guess today. Yeah. Tomorrow I don't know if it's today. today for you. Today, row. Today, row. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I have like Ethernet cables because I didn't actually check, so I might end up having to buy some of those. Uh, you should definitely check that. I mean, usually when you buy those things from like Amazon, it's like users who bought this also bought ten foot Ethernet cable for five bucks. I, I, I'm like assuming I have Ethernet cables in my box full of computer junk, and that may be a bad assumption to make. We'll find do you out. live with people? I do. I, see. I don't think I've ever heard the people you live with. I live with my uh, mom and dad. That's it. Oh. A neat, as it were. <laughs> I mean, I have a job. I guess a hikikomori then. I, I leave my room. For like cereal. <laughs> yes, for cereal. Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm sorry. That was uh. uh let's see. Uh, I'll do this. I'll do this correctly. I don't know how to pronounce that. For moosely. It's German for cereal. <laughs> It's well, fact that I, I don't live in Germany. You don't live in what? I don't live in Cut Germany. Out. Uh. Hmm. I don't eat well, cereal, in fact. Yeah, he eats moosely. Please be respectful of his culture. Solgren a type of cereal? No, Solgren is oatmeal. Oatmeal, okay. For, for sun grain. Ah. I, I never actually knew that was the etymology. <laughs> Although Solgren is also a type of cancer. It's true. I feel like Soldrin was not the first boss to do the whole thing. You have to aim his own bullets back at him, but it's the only thing I can associate it with now. Oh. Well, yeah, if you make a distinction between aim bullets back at him and, like, reflect bullets back at him. Because reflecting is, like... Oh, that's yeah, agony. Agony. Yeah. Yeah. Aiming, a lot of games have done, but, like... Solgren, I don't, I don't know of anyone who's done it kind of like Solgren does it. Or usually it's one of those things where like, you might have like a, a more traditional, like easily accessible game. And then for one of the boss's attacks, they do like a really, really like long wind up where like the, the projectile grows and like, you know, starts aiming at you. Oh, yeah. And then travels really slowly towards <laughs> you, and it's like, oh, you know, it's like a puzzle, like, oh, I need to stand between the projectile and the boss while that's going, and then move out of the way. 
Like those, those exist yeah, those, those pretty exist. regularly. But nothing like Soul Grown, which is like, you know, fuck you, do this. Soul, Soul Grown's a bit different because it's like awful. <laughs> yes. It's like, it's like terrible. Because like, like conceptually it's fine, but a lot of stuff could be changed to make it more accessible. And like, I know end gamers don't want accessibility, but. I mean, it's boshy, so. Yeah, it is boshy. It was made in 2010, so like at this, it's, at this point, it's a done deal. I mean, yeah, but like, it could be changed for all the times that the Solgren fight is recreated in all the other games. But then it wouldn't be a reference. Yeah. How exactly? Everyone cares about it, Bashi. Out of curiosity. Uh, I, I don't see much value in having the first wave of projectiles spawn a lot closer to the right and then having subsequent ones be a lot like easier and more to the left I just make them all to the left um, and I'd, I'd make it clearer when they were about to shoot because doing a straight linear opacity lerp um, doesn't it's hard because when things get between like 70 to 100 percent opacity it's really hard for our eyes to distinguish that. Yeah. So you have to keep a like a long list of bookkeeping about which things are going to go in which order, which I guess some people might consider like part of the challenge. But I'd rather have it like them like turn red for the last half second before they shoot or something. I mean, that that would make too much sense. I know. That's what I said. Fan gamers don't want it. Bye Slakes. Bye Slakes. DT3, what a nerd game. Yeah, who would play that game? DT1 is where it's at. And the, the real hipsters play DT2. The real hipsters. <laughs> the real hipsters speedrun DT2. Yeah. Has anybody done that except Cat? Oh, I think Neil uh, did like one run. I don't think he did. Did you not? I don't remember that. I think he talked about it. Well, talking about it, doing it, same thing. <laughs> TC1 yeah. Achilles at some point. I have too much other shit to do right now. I mean. We don't want to see the other shit though, we want to see you suffer. DT1 doesn't make me suffer though, DT1 makes me happy. Well, the no dash it's Zelda the happiest you'll ever you see happy? me. Hmm? But does the no dash Zelda room make you happy, my Achilles? I, I really think people are overblowing that. But we'll see. I, I'm not I'm not so sure. I, I think it's going to be a thing. I. It, it's possible. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be like a hundred percent confident, but no, I, I I don't think so. I think uh, the hardest thing in Veiled Detritus is going to be Arcus. I mean, you can just Argus. You can bunny hop. <laughs> I can't bunny hop. I mean, it's what, like a two frame window? You got it, no problem. Yeah. It's actually pretty hard to do for extended periods of time. I have to actually count out loud. Mm hmm. Just to keep a rhythm going. We're talking about bunny hopping in another game. In, in DT1, obviously. Yeah, I mean, Lost, you could, in fact, do that for any room in the game. It'd just be extremely stupid. You can't do that for any room in the game. You can't do that in any Mega Man room. Okay, you can't do it in Mega Man rooms. Is this in Mega Man? Mega Man. Can you do that in Mega Man rooms? Is that accent? Is that how I sound to you? Yeah. Oh, 
day I get past this drop again. One day. Yeah. Like the the actual like normal rooms of Veil Detritus are way worse than the Zelda rooms because of fucking shrouds. I mean, you could always shrouds. use consumables. Uh, I could also just quit the run. <laughs> Honestly, if I, Mig -mig. Move, if I do a DT1 Achilles, I would definitely use consumables to get rid of the shrouds. Just fuck them. Yeah. But I'm not the one this doing point. a DT1 Achilles, so I mean, just do, what you, do how you want to do it. <laughs> I'm like close to the point where shrouds don't do anything anymore. Like, once I get done with that, it's basically just Shady Woods. And Shady Woods is going to be a thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's going to be a goddamn thing. It's hard enough on Distorted just by itself. It's fucking crazy. Oh, not looking forward to that. And then I'll... All right. Once I do that, I'll basically... Yeah. Have to do the spire. The spire is gonna be a thing. Oh yeah. Cause I'm not. I'm not gonna fight Shroudy without the Triforce speed. Shady Woods is like the prime example of Dark Yoshi not caring if the game could be done without being hit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's, it's such a garbage area. I know. It's, it's like. Like. It's not. It's Never not even like early in the game. It's after good stuff like Metropolis and Black Rock Fortress. So like, why? It's he like, it? it's I know so Zephyr's bad. like he'd get rid of Windy Slopes and like Distortion WTF, but like Shady Woods is so much worse than either of those. <laughs> so much worse. It's short though, so maybe that's why. I don't even know what's wrong with WTF. I, I like that stage. Apparently he doesn't either. like all the tiny enemies, I think. I mean, you can deal with the tiny enemies because you have flood and all, all sorts of things. Yeah, 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 you can. But I think he just doesn't like how that whole, whole area is based around, like, I don't know, really annoying small enemies. You'd have to ask him. Well, I would have asked It also doesn't... <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what Dark Yoshi was thinking. <laughs> yeah. No, but like it, it also doesn't have like a lot of interesting stuff in it. That's I true. guess. It has like breakout. Yeah, he'd probably keep breakout because breakout was a hilarious meme. Breakout took me like <laughs> breakout was, was like we think about standout bosses so far. <laughs> Necrobane, not a big deal. No, the two big ones are Copy X and Breakout. By far the longest bosses. You did copy X before knowing about the, uh, the Kodeku thing, right? I created the Kodeku thing. I, oh, did you create it on Achilles? Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I found that strat while grinding copy X. Okay, so that makes sense why it took you so long, because you, you discovered it in the process of grinding him. Well, it, it doesn't help that much. Like, even finding that strat does not make that trivial. Yeah, like, I believe in my distorted run, even doing the strat, I was like one, one hit from dying or something. Like, when you have to dodge everything, then yeah. you, you don't have a lot of wiggle room to, like, do max Deku Carnage. And, like, that fight is, is pretty, like, it's pretty much you get... It's fairly doable until the final phase, and then everything just goes straight to hell. And it's impossible to tell two of the attacks from each other. Right, and you just randomly die. And one of them does not get absorbed by water barrier. Sure doesn't. Oh, that fucking thing. Also Dark Gear. Veiled Detritus. He could be. Mimi. Yeah, he could be a thing. 
Because, like, basically the idea with that fight is you out DPS him, and that's not happening on yep. Achilles. No, it is. It's just an infinite out DPS. <laughs> yeah. Ratio of 100 to 0. But yeah, like, he'll probably not be that bad because the fight, when done well, is very quick. So you just need to get those, like, those 30 seconds correct once, you know? Right. So my problem with the jump there is I didn't jump high enough on the first jump. I don't remember to do that. Well, your first jump was fine, but you jumped, you re-jumped way too fast. Days are not divided by time going from 11.59 to 12. Days are divided by sleep. Yeah, that's how I can conceive of it. So I get really confused when people are talking about, like, tomorrow, and they mean, like, like, like it's 3 a.m. and they'll say tomorrow, and they, they don't mean, like, in a, in a couple of hours and people wake up, they mean literally tomorrow on the calendar. Yeah. Something I really hate... Like, I really hate it, and I'm, like, the only person that hates this and rejects it. Yeah. But people... People use next to refer to one pass next, and it drives me nuts. Like, what's an example? So, if, if it's Wednesday, right. and you want to refer to two days from now, right. you say this Friday. Oh. And if you say next Friday, you mean nine days from now yeah I i'm sorry but the but next friday is two days from now that's what next means i mean it's i reject it this means. i reject this and i say next to be next and if that confuses people well fuck them <laughs> might as well just say like the actual literal date at that point yeah i do tend to clarify but like oh my god that's frustrating <laughs> I'm glad I'm not alone. Cuz I think I think it actually started as like a contraction for next week. So people say like, oh, next week Friday, and then they just cut out the week because they're lazy. And next week Friday becomes next Friday. Like a full word contraction. I've never like looked into that. It's just something I kind of never thought about. You're part of the problem? Yeah, I am. I didn't even know it's too far, but... <laughs> the the dreaded straight up 16 pixel jump. Yeah. I fuck this up too. Sometimes I feel I have like I understand the kid's hitbox and then it all goes out the window and I just I have this like up and down undulation of like 
understand it. How <laughs> did you mess that jump up? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. <laughs> uh, you can tell I've been playing too long when I do stuff like that. Yeah, for that semi bull, like, I always clarify, so, like, um. Like, uh. You know, do you do not want something? Uh, no, I don't. Or, like, no, I don't want that. Like, I, I try to add the, the follow up to make sure that it's clear that, like,. I, I do or do not want yeah, like some languages they're they're very clear like they answer yes or no based on the question itself I do that hell's raging loop. Easy in what sense, Helfos? What is a raging loop? It's a visual novel. Oh. Freaking movie. Freaking <laughs> movie. Your translation milk brings all the boys to the yard. My milk, huh? Said milk. Yeah, I mean, it should be milkshake and not just milk. Uh, I don't actually know popular songs. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours, damn right. It's better than yours. <laughs> Man, I love popular songs. They are fantastic. Yeah. Let's read the whole lyrics. <laughs> yeah, go for it. I mean, it's better than I don't, watching I don't know the, I know the rhythm of what I said, and then it's, I can teach you, but I have to charge. I think you know it, the thing that makes me... What the guys go crazy for, they lose their minds. The way I wind, I think it's time. La 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 la. Warm it up. La 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 la. The boys are waiting. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right. It's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. <laughs> I can see you're on it. You want me to teach the techniques that freaks these boys. It can't be bought. Just know thieves get caught. Watch if you're smart. La 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 la. Warm it up. La 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 la. The boys are waiting. And then my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. Once you get involved, everyone will look this way, so you must maintain your charm. Same time, maintain your halo. Just get the perfect blend, plus what you have within. Then next, his eyes are squint. Then he's picked up your scent. What? <laughs> la 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 la, warm it up. La 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 la, the boys are waiting. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, and they're like, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. And that is the lyrics. I'm glad we, we went through that. Yeah, it's important. I didn't realize there were so many laws in that song. If only you could teach me how to do 16 pixels. I'm glad that you corrected me on that. You're like, Brian, it should be milkshake. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Sorry for encroaching on your territory. I mean, just, I've insulted your identity. Is this part of your culture? It sounded vaguely lewd when you said milk and not milkshake. <laughs> Are you sure it's not already lewd? <laughs> I, I feel like that's kind of the point. That's true. <laughs> it's, it sounded lewd in a different way, I should say. Hit the wall, Moogie. Jesus Christ. I think the wall is actually pretty hard from that position. 
What? No, it's not. No, no, like once you've landed, go up and hit it so you're, you're oh. aligned to the... Oh, yeah, I need to get the align. That's right. That's what I was doing wrong. Yeah, basically that's what I thought of. Yeah. Nuggies are changing milk. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's a good thing to talk about. <laughs> well, what else are we going to talk about? You've been on this safe for 10 years. Yeah, I've been on it for like an hour, in fact. It feels like it shouldn't be as hard as it is, but it is. It's not long for normal people, Sammy, but this is the Moogie playing. It's a bit embarrassing. It's not even the longest I've spent on a save in this game, so... Yeah. There's a save earlier that contains vines. I've been on that for a couple months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> really just hold left there, like you said. It makes me mess I know. Up. I know. Because I got used to doing it in a bad way. That's why when they teach you to play instruments, they're like, no, you gotta hold it this way. It's like, that's not comfortable. Then you'll have a bad habit. Sammy, I'm interested Basically. in what that save you spent 40 hours on is. I think we're gonna need a screenshot. 40 hours, that's gotta be a cancer save. That's gotta be, you can't, you can't spend 40 hours. <clears throat> I don't know what fuck the fucker screen 4 means. Fly the far away. Which is Fly the Far Away. That's I wonder me. what nationality made that game. <laughs> oh Moogie Net. Oh, okay, no. we're fine, we're fine. Just just a small blip in the world of Moogie Net. Yeah, Fly the Far Away is like legitimately one of the hardest games. And it's only like one screen of it that's hard to one day I dream of, of beating Brood of a Man <laughs> for no reason. Yeah. I don't actually want to, I just want to have done it, you know? Right. I mean, two people have done it, so you can be the third. It's like, um... I get their names mixed up. It's not Canaris, it's, uh... Kinata. 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 Oh yeah, there's the screen. It's it's a thing. Oh, that's a weird looking screen. So let's see. Jump jump. jump. Uh, is that double jump? That has to be double jump water. It's probably not. I hate you have to ask. <laughs> well, I think it has to be. I don't think you can possibly make it from the bottom water up there with a Unless it's single jump, like water one or whatever they call it. It's not double jump water, is it? It's not double jump, but but do you get full jumps off of it? Probably just have to do frame perfect everywhere. I 
Oh, wow, okay. I guess... Eh, uh, I guess. It's like... Pretty frame perfect, it looks like. And then you jump up over there. Jump up over there, get over there, and then you land, and you're like, oh my god. Oh my god, is that little water divot to get in a line? <laughs> it's... Ugh, you do that like... Half water... Half submarine. Then you... You do that jump... Wait, can you not... One, two, three... It looks like you should be able to go, like, after the water section, you should be able to jump up directly onto that platform with the two spikes, and instead of doing the weird jump to the right... That looks very possible, unless there's, like, a trap there. Jump up there... Jump into the little water divot... Oh my god, you have to do a double jump over those two spikes? What? That's trashy as fuck. And that's pretty standard. Jump over to there. That's kind of a weird jump. Yeah, that screen looks pretty terrible. It's impossible? What? Yeah, it, it, it's impossible to do what you were thinking you could do. 32 uh, tile lines can be... Well, not lines, but formations can be... Misconceiving, I guess? Misleading. Misconceiving? I, I Misconceiving. Know, I don't know words anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's not your mother tongue, so don't worry about it. <laughs> I have to try this in JTool. So the funny thing is, I... there's a video on YouTube of someone beating this game without dying. Of, uh, of what? Of... Uh, Someone beating uh, Fly the Far Away without dying. Here, you're cutting out, so. Um, okay, so that's. That's two blocks up. And there's a spike there. There's a spike there. Yeah, there's what's Sammy there. saying? I see, I see. Did impossible mode. Oh, 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 jeez. Uh, <laughs> I still had my Celeste maps on, and apparently my jump button zoomed it in. I'm zoomed in in J2 and I don't know how to unzoom. Mouse wheel. But it wasn't mouse wheel. Well, you can use the mouse wheel. No, I can't. Doesn't work. Really? Well, sure. Let's see, so that's... I? Uh... I'm closing J... Oh, okay. Es escape zooms it back out while the menu is up, but then it zooms it back in. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm sure somebody's already made it, so just get him to send you the map. Well, I just want the, the one jump. I don't care about the rest of it, I'm just curious about the one jump. But now I'm zoomed in and I can't unzoom. Ah, it locked. Change skin depth order. Backup's on. Oh, control mouse wheel. Oh, okay. I, I don't know why. Oh, the I key also zooms in. Why? I, I don't know. It's um, a weird button. Yeah. I don't know. There's got to be a zoom out button, but I don't know what it is. I'll just control mouse wheel. Anyway. God damn it, I still have the Celeste ones on. What a fan games. Jesus Christ. Okay. I can play. Uh, 
okay. I just made that jump. Let's take a look at the jump again. That's that's thirty. That's thirty-two pixels. Oh wait, hold on. I, I'm missing a block there. It's actually two tile high. Okay. Yeah, I want to see you try the actual save. I'm, I'm not gonna try the actual save. Yeah, okay. You, you can't do that. That's fair. Try the water tower at least. I'm not gonna try the water tower. It's, it's, it's calling out to you. I, I, oh yeah, I love water, you know? Yeah, you, you can't, you can't make that jump. Okay. How did you send me a map? Oh, over. I guess we are friends. <laughs> On Discord. All right, let's let's see this map. I don't. I'm not gonna play this for a long time because it's uh, not in any way good. <laughs> okay, water's my favorite. Why does it start me? Oh, because I guess it saves your temp save? It does. That's yeah. my guess. Okay, so I'll W back over to here. Um, really? There's a shot blocker? I didn't even know you could do shot blockers in J2. Yeah, they're under mist or whatever. Well, first jump's pretty easy. Yep. Second jump is, uh, seems largely cancerous. Only largely. The second jump is what? Okay, okay, I did the second jump. That's it's just a little non-intuitive, is all. And then, and then it's Water Wonderland, and I'm already quitting. I'm not. I'm not. But in my mind, I am. If this were an actual game, I would have largely quit by now. Ah, that was fascinating when you died. Oh, God. Why is there shot block? I have no idea how to get from the first water to the second water. But I'm not good with water. Oh my fucking lord. Fuck me. I shouldn't have moved left. Her, my fucking lord. I shouldn't have moved left at all. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. This looks like a terrible save that no one should ever do. screen just doesn't work in JTool for me, it just goes black forever. Hey. We 
Wait, is this the fabled roommate? Huh? I heard you say hey to someone. Oh, that was my dad. But I beat yeah, the Yeah, I, I just... I just think it's funny that, like, I've mentioned, like, I've never heard anyone you live with. And then this stream, it's like, hello, person I live with. <laughs> so, yeah. Your parents uh, know you, you, you bring all the milk to the yard. Yes, yes. But, uh, yeah, Brian, I beat that with a uh, buffer jump cancel, so I hope you're proud of me. I'm so disappointed in you. I'm going to give this save exactly one attempt and then call it quits for the night. Yeah, I think I'm done with this fly the far away shit forever. I'll link you the impossible mode clear on Discord. I, I, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so hopefully the next screen is easier. Thank you guys for watching. That was, I don't know if that was fun. I don't know what that was, but it brought all the boys to the yard. And uh, I, I think I think you worry too much about whether or not. A screen is entertaining to watch. People are here for you, Moogie. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, if people enjoy watching me grind needle, then hey. I'm pretty much just, like, streaming it so I can have a record of having beaten it. But if people want to watch, I figure, hey, might as well. Yep. So, yeah, uh, I'm getting off. Thank you, guys.